We're back alongside Wendy Mater from T2Coaching.com. I'm Dave Erickson from EnduranceHour.com. Today's topic is four key weekly running workouts. Wendy, beginning with number one, skills and drills. So when I comp- when I compose a training plan and I'm incorporating this into a runners program or a triathlon program, the four key workouts that I like to include, number one are skills and drills. Never miss a skills and drills workout because that's only going to make you a more economical runner and it's going to help you prevent injuries. Examples of a, a skill or drill like butt kicks? Um, yeah, there's butt kicks, there's high knees, there's... Um, skipping, but even just Googling um, Newton Running Form Friday, they have a lot of different varieties of running skills and drills that, which one do you do? You pick two or three and do them um, every week or you incorporate them into all your running um, warm-ups every time you run. I think there's so much value into skills and drill workouts with running. Number two, you have as aerobic endurance as a weekly running workout. So aerobic endurance is typically your weekly run that you're either going to build up certain distance starting at a low distance and build it up over time depending on the training race you're doing. And the key is keeping it about 75% of your max heart rate. You can, If you train by training zones, you can think of it as a zone two workout, um, conversational pace. It's that workout that you can build up the distance and keep going without taxing your body. Um, There's so many benefits to um, providing your body that foundation fitness with the aerobic endurance workout. Skills and drills, aerobic endurance. Number three is strength. So when it comes to strength workouts, I like to think of two different workouts. The first one is called tempo, which is usually about that 85% zone three type of intensity, um, RPE, maybe a six or a seven. And um, it's about a five minute interval or you can do maybe like a 20 minute tempo run, two to three mile tempo run at that specific intensity. The other strength workout that I really enjoy are hill repeats or just really running over a hilly course. The benefits of running hills is you're also working on your form as well as your leg strength. So definitely don't shy away from hills. Even if you're training for a flat um, distance race, the benefit of hill running is phenomenal for leg strength. And the fourth and final key weekly running workout you have here is speed as a speed workout. Yeah, so doing that weekly speed workout, that's how you're going to get faster. But you want to make sure you've developed the skills and drills, aerobic endurance, and strength before you add speed workouts. Speed can be as little as 20-second acceleration, um, 20-second sprints. It could be as long as, you know, doing inter- you know doing intervals at the track is a very common form of speed workout. And again, how, how, what your interval time is will just depend on whether you're training for a one mile, a five mile, up to a marathon. But doing you know, 800 repeats, mile repeats at a certain threshold pace, which is about 90 to 95% of your max heart rate, RPE eight to nine, um, training zone four to five. So depending on how you're training, you definitely want to incorporate that speed, but you really only want to do um, speed work maybe four to six percent of your weekly volume of training miles. And the foundation of all this to be successful is having good run form. So if you're interested in getting a free run form video analysis from Wendy, uh, go to endurancehour.com. You'll see an icon that looks like that and says the exact same words. You can also go to t2coaching.com and you'll see an icon. It looks like it's a blue icon square with a woman on the right on a treadmill. Click on that and we'll give you directions on how to video yourself and send us that video so we can provide you with a free video analysis. Now, if you have a question for Wendy and myself in the future, Wendy, how can people submit voicemail questions um they can go to endurance hour or t2 coaching facebook page they can go to our endurance hour t2 coaching website and from their um, desktop laptop or mobile device they can send us a voicemail question and we will answer it on a on another voicemail that we provide or another skype call that we provide them yeah, it's pretty cool. You'll see a gray bar on the right side of both of the websites with a microphone. Click on that, and you can just record right there no matter where you are. Same thing with the Facebook page. You'll see send voicemail as an option when it talks about home, about, videos, emails, all that kind of stuff. It's really easy and fun to do. All right, Coach Wendy, thanks very much for that. And uh, these have been the four key weekly running workouts. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.
Got 